Jim Holly, Supercross Live on SupercrossOnline.com. Here with Keith McCarty from Yamaha, one of my old bosses when I was riding for Yamaha. Keith, you, you know you've been around a long time. I mean, you've won championships with Bob Hanna. You've been in, in, involved in, in motorsports your whole life. Yes. Um, this is probably one of the greatest seasons ever we've seen in Supercross. Yeah, absolutely. You know, from the drop of the gate, there was a, a lot of guys that could win races, and uh, I believe five guys have. You know, and then uh, those same five guys went all the way down to four races to go and now we're got two races to go and there's four guys that have a chance to win this championship and in my memory that's never happened before in supercross yeah i mean i can remember in years past uh, going down to vegas there's only been two guys going for a championship but not four one of those guys uh, james stewart uh, one of your guys nine points down uh, seems like he's got the momentum with winning the last two and it seems like in, in me doing some interviews with him is his mind he seems a little bit more at ease with himself and the team and everything and it just seems like everything's going his way right now. You know, um, you're right. The last couple of races have been really good. He had a good at the beginning of the season, and, uh, you know, a lot of things went on in the middle. But um, you're right. There's four guys at the end. You know, James has got the last couple of wins. He's nine points out, and uh, anything can happen tonight. We got an open stadium. We got snow falling right now. Uh, the conditions uh, have been different almost every race that we've been to. So, you know, it's really exciting, and I, uh, I think, I think James is uh, again, like you said, at peace with himself. He knows what's going on and what he's got to do, and that's a that's a good posi position to be in. Basically, what he's got to do is just go win, baby. That's it. Exactly. You know, that's just worry about yourself, and the rest will take care of itself. So. You know, we've put a lot of focus on the, the Supercross class and, and the West Coast lights. I mean, those guys are only, there's only three guys and there's only seven points separating those guys also. You know, that's also been a really entertaining and a great, great uh, season for the East and the West. It's just been really good. I think the way that they're doing the final races at Las Vegas is a big plus, you know, so you just won't know till at the very end of the year, which is kind of how it's been. But the racing's been exciting, multiple winners, and uh, you know, I think the fans have gotten their money's worth this year. You know, there's one guy that I'm pulling for in that lights class, and that's Kyle Cunningham. Kyle Cunningham had, had, a, had a third last year when he was riding uh, in Las Vegas in that Supercross class. He hasn't yet to get a win in that Supercross class. He's been fast. He's been up there. He's had little mistakes. But, I mean, I, I think if anybody can win that East-West shootout, Kyle Cunningham's got a good shot at it. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's been tough for Kyle to be what the fastest guy or one of the fastest guys week in, week out, and then uh, have that little thing go wrong that derails your night. And you're right, he's he's been right there. And, uh, again, it wouldn't surprise me if he could pull it off here the next week or so and, and uh, put that win and just expand the number of guys, the total number of guys that have won the race this year. be terrific.